everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this happens to be your first time here, my name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome. I don't have a cat to hold up and show you because they're both sleeping in the sunlight that is falling onto my bed. Today I'm going to be playing with a palette that I got requested to play with in, I don't know, I'll try and find the comment and put it on screen, but if I can't, one person asked me recently to play with my XX Extravaganza palette. I do get requests quite a lot, but it was a recent one that kind of jogged my memory to use it. And also, Elena went live last night, Elena Glam, I'll pop her up here, she did a live where she did this warm tone with a blue, and I was like, I'm going to copy that. But I did do a recent, well not a recent, like a few months ago I did a video quite similar to this eye, which I can link up here if you want to see it. But anyway, we're going to be doing this look here from start to finish. I got a couple of new products that I wanted to play with, a couple of lip options, I even made these earrings, well DIY'd them so that they would match. So if you want to fanny around with me on this Friday evening, put some makeup on and have fun, then please just keep on watching. <laughs> if you hear weird noises throughout this video, I've set up a bit of a jungle gym for the boys with my like clothes horses and some towels because they just love playing with washing that's hanging up, so just ignore it. It keeps them entertained and slightly out of my hair. So I actually decided to prime with my ordinary High coverage. I think I look a little bit orange right now. I think it's just because I'm so zoomed in. I I do apologise. I'm still working out how to use this camera. Not gonna lie. I just used this today because my Revlon Candid is pretty much run out and because it's at that end stages it really oxidises heavily and it looks really orange whereas this is very pale. So when I go in with my foundation and that, it's it's just better. I used way too much, so I'll try and cover up the eye. Why? Wow, I used way too much. Holy macaroni. This is my BH Gives My X number 5 brush. It's so good. For primer. Oh, it's going to be so annoying holding up this palette the whole time. I am going to take this shade here, followed by this red up here so I'll point to two just to give me a little bit of a break in terms of holding it up. Are you being nice to each other? I didn't want to start off with black so I started off with this like reddish brown just because I did try this look just before I got to this look and uh, it didn't work out well to season the black straight away. Boys! I'm actually just going to join it all the way around. How good does this look so far? <laughs> Literally looks like I'm a four month old child trying to apply makeup. Trust the process, trust the process. Do 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 do. I'm just going to take that same shade but on a fluffier brush. I'm just going to smoosh around the edges. It's definitely quite a brown shade but it's super warm toned. Like a real red brown. So it goes quite well with what I'm trying to achieve. Because it's not every day you'll see me put brown eyeshadow on. And today's not really that day either. So I'll go into that red that I pointed out. Pop this around. I'm keeping this quite rounded. I might end up like dragging the yellow out a little bit. But I want the main bulk of my eyeshadow to be quite rounded. Definitely getting more like into liking the rounded shapes again. I know that'll keep Melissa happy, not me Melissa, another Melissa. And then I'm going to take this bright pink and ooh, this orange. I like to put pink in between reds and orange, I think it always helps with the blend. And between like purples and orange as well. And it definitely kind of disappears, it's not really a big part of it, but it just helps with the blending. So that's why I do it. Into the orange. This was really fast actually. This look really did not take long, which I'm glad about because as I'm filming it's Tuesday, <coughs> excuse me, and I want to go on a, a walk or a drive, I haven't decided yet, before my live tonight with Teresa. If you missed it, you'll be able to watch it back on my channel. And if you want to see more lives from me, you're going to have to join my Patreon because 
I only do them on Patreon on my own, like well for my Patrons on my own. I do joint lives quite a lot with all my sausages and friends but if you want to see me on my own you have to join my Patreon because I hate doing them. I don't hate doing them. I get nervous doing them so yeah it's hard for me. So this is kind of oh, the main bulk of the look. Keep it down lads, keep it down. My next step, there, there's a towel hanging in between them and they're fighting each other through the towel. My next step is the black. This is going to give us the depth that we desire. Am I right ladies? Ho ho ho! And gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going all the way around with black. I'm not even worried about really leaving a gap in the centre because I can fix that. I want this just above the crease when I relax my eyebrows. Pretty decent black, right? It's definitely not the best one I've ever tried, but it's, it's decent. Decent. And then I'm just going to go back through all of those shades and re-blend them. I'll do it silently though because as always I am watching YouTube videos just here and I really like to watch them as I do my makeup and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, I feel like I've already made this bigger than the other side, but that always happens when I put makeup on. I took my ColourPop liner in Spring Day, which is just this gorgeous blue, just as a, a little bit of a base. And I put a little bit down here. I don't necessarily need it to be that pigmented, it's more just to give the shadow that I'm going to put on top something to stick to. And have like a lighter base than if I'd just put it on top of like pretty much black eyeshadow. Just like that, nothing special. Don't have to be special. Then I'm taking the star of this palette really, which is this Gorgina blue. And I'm also gonna dip into this teal afterwards. This blue is really stunning. This is not a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow. Like it's too good to be Makeup Revolution, which I know it's, that's a stupid thing to say, but please don't stand on it. Please don't stand on it. Like, look at this blue. I mean, I'm not saying buy the palette just for this blue, but this is a very good rainbow palette. And I do like it pretty much just as much as the Beauty Bay Bright Mattes because this one's actually got shimmer in it. And I know there is a version of the Bright Mattes that has shimmers, but it's not good. Like, the shimmers aren't anything special, in my opinion. But you're on my channel, so of course you're going to hear my opinion, so... No, just stop it. Just stop it. I'm going to take it on a fluffier brush. And very gently buff the top edge. I don't want a defined cut crease, and I also don't want this miles above my crease. It's very similar to that Stacey Marie look that I filmed a while ago. I'm not putting definition in it. Do you know how much time it saves? I've been filming for 15 minutes exactly and look how far I've got. Which is why I think I'll do my base on camera as well in this video. Plus it's a Friday so... you all got a bit more time on a Friday. So it is above my crease but not like massively. And then I'll take that teal that I pointed to and just tap that at the edges. I'm going to go back in with a bit more black in a sec and just make sure I've got the depth. Top and bottom. And then because I felt like it wasn't like it's really pretty but I felt like I could make it stand out a little bit more. I took my pastel roses chunky glitter flakes in the shade aquamarine. Holy moly. Beautiful. And because I was talking about it last night on Elena's live that I did not like the ABH glitter adhesive and people were telling me that they really liked it and 
I thought, do you know what, Melissa, try it again. So I'm going to take it on a brush, pat it over where I've put this blue, and then just dip that brush into these glitter flakes. These like reflect pink, green, blue, bit purple. They are absolutely stunning. I'll try and remember and show this makeup like a natural light. Oh, sorry, I'm falling off. Do it down below as well. Try not to get them in your eyeball. Oh, these flakes are just stunning. Just adds a little bit extra. I was going to use a loose glitter, but I think that's really pretty. And then I'll take that M507 again, but dip into the light bright blue that we used. Just tease the edges a little bit. And then in with the black, just on a little flat brush. Tuck that inner corner and outer corner. You can see how much it deepens it up, it's just with blending it kind of flips off a little bit. So it's always good to go back in and just add that depth. And then my waterline, I used my Huda. Just because I do like the pencil side, I feel like it does really stay put and it's super black. But I do have other eyeliners that I love just as much, if not more. Top and bottom, leaving a gap. I'm going to take my ColourPop eyeliner again, the little pot. And I put this on first, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty, but it's not quite what I want. And I'm going to pop this in the center. I did something a little different on this eye, and I don't like it, so I'm just going to cover this up. Back to my ColourPop. We're getting full use out of it. And take it on a wee pokey brush. This one doesn't have a name. It's the annoying thing about some Morphe sets, the brushes don't have names. Pop this as a little bit of a base. This brush is like stiff. I need to wash it. Just as a little bit of a base. Then that stunning blue that we used on the lid over the top and I also took my Kaleidos Skywalker A. I love Star Wars B. I love a bright blue highlight on the inner corner I really like those Kaleidos highlighters I do need to get a few more I really want the multi-chrome one and I am kind of bummed that I didn't get the Angelica Neekvist palette the nebula. Not really like I need more palettes, is it? I'm gonna nip off and put some moisturizer on, wet my sponge, and then we'll come back because I have a primer that I really want to use on camera for the first time today. Like I bought it, and usually I would save things like this for first impression, but I'm just dying to try it, so we are gonna do that. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't shut my door. No, no, no. Okay, the other day, Carrie, one of my sausages, she did a live in the sausage group and she used the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth glow. And I just thought her skin looked like angels had come down and blessed her with, with this skin. So I, in a moment of madness, purchased it because it was £34. I bought the shade one and we are going to use it today. It's not a foundation. I think it's just like a, I don't know what it is. The future has arrived. Hollywood Flawless Filter, a magical new flawless filler for perfect looking skin enriched with lamellar filler, which acts like a digitally enhanced filter for your skin. It soft focuses, perfects and illuminates for a dewy flawless superstar youth glow. Apply all over the face as a flawless filter or on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. So I think it's just going to give me a gorgeous glow and I'm 
searching for something that will replace my Becca backlight priming filler because that's my favourite high end one. And I'm even going to put it on my forehead, I don't even care. So that was a few dips in. And this better make me look insane in a good way. Did I use too much, Carrie? <laughs> I think the shade is really good for me. I was going to get shade too and I'm glad I did not. I need to look into the best way of using this because I did apply it over a moisturiser and I, it's like a little bit hard to spread out and rub in so I don't know if maybe I shouldn't have used a moisturiser or should I apply this with a brush. It's not in any way enhanced my complexion in terms of like evening it out but it's given me an all over glow. It's not too much. Like I was worried I'd put it on and look like a disco ball. But it's not like oh she looks really greasy or she's clearly like covered herself in liquid illuminator. It does more look like a glow from within. Just like a healthy skin. I can imagine this with just a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And here where I always put it. A little bit of mascara and lip balm and I would feel really nice just nipping out. I'm gonna use my NYX Born to Glow again because I've been using it recently and loving it and I'm not really doing a full face first impressions today, I'm just putting makeup on, but there are a few other new bits we could try, maybe, if the colours will go. Anyway, let me just blend this in. I didn't use a lot of that foundation because I didn't want to cover up the glow and I don't need full coverage today to be honest and I am having to go out and about looking like this so nice. I really like this foundation and it's a tenor which is the same as Makeup Revolution so I'd buy this over my Conceal and Hydrate or Conceal and Glow whatever it's called. I'm quickly going to cream contour. I'm using up my Jeffree Star C19 concealer. I am debating project panning a few bits in my collection. Oh my goodness, what is it today? Friday that you're watching this. On Monday on my channel, I will be live again with Elena Glam, who is a very good friend of mine and a YouTuber. And we're going to be doing full drag. It'll be my first time. She does it all the time. She is a pro. No, darling. No, I'm sorry. No, you're innocent. So, yeah. Make sure to come back for that. Because I'm going to be doing like peach blush today. I don't mind putting a little bit of cream contour on. And I really want to finish up this concealer. And just be done with it. I don't know why I put so much on my jaw. Because I can never blend it in. Why did I do that? So if you have any suggestions of what drag look I should try and recreate. Feel free to DM them to me on Instagram and I'll try and pick one to do. I'd quite like to like do maybe my own colour scheme but like follow a certain look because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to drag. And for cream bronzer, I'm just going to use my Primark one, I'm sorry I know I can't get this right now. Um, It's really good. Do you know what Primark should do? I know they can't sell their clothes online because like the cost of it would just be so astronomical because of the cost of the clothing and having to like have the warehouses and it's just never going to happen basically but they should at least sell like their beauty products online and like socks and shoes and accessories but imagine you could buy Primark beauty online that would be a good hustle for them that wouldn't be near as bad as them trying to do the clothes as well in my opinion I mean what do I know literally nothing but I'm just saying 
Concealer. Let's just use my other Jeffree Star one in C3. Because once again, trying to pan it and get rid of it. Might as well. Obviously we're going to use a cream blush and I'd quite like to try my Revolution Super Dewy Fake the Flush, the peach one just on its own today. In the video where I tested it, I mixed it with the pink. So this will be my first time actually trying this peach on its own. It's quite a pinky peach, like a corally peach. A lot of peaches are quite pinky peach. Maybe it's just how it comes out on my skin or maybe it's just that brands think that they like are more suited to more people, I don't know. As I always tell you, I know nothing. I'm not a professional. I just love to get clarity. These do blend so seamlessly. I'm so glad brands are on this cream train. It's a really nice brush for patting out creams. It's my Real Technique 002. Yes. My skin is looking so nice. I mean, we'll see it in the sunlight and see what we actually think. But from here, with my beauty lights on, it's looking glorious. That is really pretty. I definitely prefer the tone of my Mitchell Mango Daiquiri. It's just much more like orange. So I'll put a wee smidge of this on as well. I wasn't going to, I was just going to hold it up and show you, but I do get carried away. Yeah, that's nice. They're actually quite nice layered. I'm not going to use cream highlight, but I will set my face a little bit. I, I don't really want to, but I will a smidge. I'll just use my coat ear spun. Or, mm, I probably won't put any more contour or bronze on, but I will put a powder blush on. Something really peachy and pretty. Uh, I could use Daydream that I used in my last video, so I won't. I'll use Benefit Georgia. This is a very firm favourite. This is the mini, and I've had this for so long, and it's still going strong. I always think you should just buy Benefit minis for, like, everything that you can, because they do last a really long time. I'm going to take just a nice fluffy brush and the yellow, which I don't actually think I pointed to when I was putting it on, but it's this yellow here, it's the only yellow in the palette. I'll just pop this on the perimeter of the look. I don't really want it dragged out onto my temples very much. Then I'll take just like a little pencil brush and that orange that we used above and just pop it down here because I feel like my where I cleaned up it just looks a little bit stark. I'd like to put a setting spray on. I've been enjoying my Benefit Professional quite a lot. Mm. It just feels hydrating and nice. Lovely mister. And then I definitely need to add some glow back and I do have a new highlighter that I want to use. I'm very excited to use it actually. But first, let me change my battery. For my highlighter, this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. My friend Daniela, she loves this so much. And it's one of those things where, you know when you love something so much you buy it for someone else because you want them to experience it. It's like when you make someone watch a movie with you. That's what it's like. She got it for me because she was like, no, you're going to love it and you, you need to have it. So this is what, I better swatch it, right? Oh, quite a lot's come through my sifter. It's, to me, it looks like a loose version of Cookie. Like it's that kind of tone. So I'm just going to take what's on the lid and pop this on. Holy market. <laughs> um, wow. 
You used to be able to get Artist Couture on Beauty Bay, didn't you? I don't think you can anymore. I think she had to order this from America for me. Holy macaroni. That is beautiful. Wow. I'm not usually a loose highlighter kind of person. I just prefer pressed. I feel like it's a bit easier to work with. I'm not really having any issues with this. It's going where I want it to go and not elsewhere. It's really beautiful. I'd say it's actually a bit lighter than Cookie. Not quite as, like not quite the same tone. I just take a little bit on my wee brush. Remember years ago I read a MAC makeup artist said put a bit of highlight in between your, like on your nose in between your eyes and it just like brings so much light there. Yeah that is stunning. Thank you so much Daniela for that. Very unexpected and lovely gift. I'm going to put a tad more blush on just because I feel like I <laughs> kind of went over the top. I'm actually going to take the yellow. Am I in frame? from the palette on my blush brush. Too much. Shouldn't really blow on my makeup at this, this time but I'm just gonna mush that in. This is definitely turning into more of a blush heavy kind of look that I meant but it's fine. I'm gonna do a little bit of faux freckles and hope that I can blend them in. Yeah, full freckles are so much easier when you have a wet base. Don't judge me, I don't care. I'm enjoying them. I am going to put lashes on and then we'll come back and choose a lip. I'm really not sure what lip to do. I'm so tempted to do a super pale nude, to be honest. Like a glossy nude like I've been doing recently. But I'm also feeling like maybe more of like a kind of wintry, vampy lip. I'm really not sure. So I'll put lashes on and I'll think about it. I think for the lip, my lips are so bad, <laughs> so dry. Honestly, sometimes I think putting lip balm on makes my lips worse. I think for the lip, start off with a little bit of mango daiquiri. See how I feel like that? I like it, it's just a bit sheer. So I did pull out my beloved Fenty pumpkin rose, which I think it's just gonna be the right one. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely goes with the eyes, right? I do think a pale nude would be better, but I might just do that afterwards. I'm gonna use a bit more setting spray. Mm. I just love the feeling of it. I love the feeling of it and I made some earrings to match this look. I had these and they were all black with the little gems so I just used some nail polish and painted over a bunch of the black gems and made them blue and then dropped some glitter on them in the hopes that they would kind of match my eyes. I don't actually have any blue earrings which is really bizarre. I'm happy with it. I don't I'm not happy with the lip. So I probably will change it and then I can like show you it changed if you like. I don't know, I just feel like a nude would let the eyes have their moment. But that's it with Fenty. I will change it. I'm just not happy, so I need to make myself a wee bit happier with it. But yeah, if you like it with the orange lip, then there it is. I'm just gonna try and make my shoulders match the rest of me. I do like this look, just not with the orange lip. I do like the orange lip, it's just not 
calling to me right now. So that's the orange lip. Let's change it to a nude. I just did very classic combo MUA Sincere because I can't be bothered finding TLC MAC Flesh Pot and then my Maybelline lip gloss. I could totally not use a lipstick but I just did. I'm happier with this lip. I feel like it just makes the eyes have their own moment. I'm so... I'm happy with this look, yeah. Feeling it. I'm always in a better mood when I do a makeup look and it, it just comes out okay and I don't have to spend all day trying to refill and refill and wipe off and restart and pulling a tear as we call it in the sausages. So I'm pretty happy actually. So yeah, that is going to be it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun playing with that palette especially because I really don't film with it enough I don't use it enough and I really should use it more it's just it's quite pricey like it's more expensive than the Beauty Bay but you do get more shades so it's always a bit of like mm -hmm, for me but it is very very good so yeah oh and the Charlotte Tilbury I need to keep testing it I need to I want to try it maybe without moisturizer underneath and see if it's easier to maybe spread out on my face but please feel free to tell me how to use this properly. I am gonna piss off now, go out in about 15 degrees, the sun is shining, I will put a clip in of me in the natural light to show you the makeup but yeah I am gonna piss off, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do give it a big thumbs up, I need all the support I can get, I spent £34 on that, I need to make it back. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I put out three videos a week, lives for patrons, whatever you want join us and uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll piss off, have a lovely day or evening and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! I actually cannot believe how beautiful and sunny it is. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see my makeup in this direct light so I'll go through to the living room because I feel like you can see it better in there. Yeah, maybe a bit better. That's me natural light-ish. I mean I'm at the windows. Um. I do think my skin looks good with all those products. I really like that NYX foundation. I just find it looks so nice on my skin. Hello. Do we have a kitten that wants to sit? Oh no. The gig is up. I wear pajama bottoms. For everything. Do you want to see the birdies? The birdies, the birdies. Can you hear them? Oh. Yeah, I'm really happy with this makeup. I think it looks good. Thanks Elena for letting me steal it. I'm happy. Hopefully you liked it. And hopefully 